most of the marks in man with a pipe are baffling in terms of representation and serve primarily to establish visual rhythms, a few fragments of graphic information are legible. The eye and nose can be discerned by extrapolating from the placement of the mustache. A white rectangular shape at the bottom, a piece of paper, indicates where to look for the man's hands. Man with a pipe presumably represents the interior of a dimly lit, smoke-filled cafe, hence the letters S detached from the word restaurant and the letters L to suggest journal, newspaper in French. Picasso's technique used imagination to create abstract works that explored form and structure. Picasso used colors and brush strokes to give texture to his figures which he broke down into geometric shapes. He built paintings in layers and used color to fragment the shapes of objects. His technique is famous around the world because of its uniqueness. Eventually, it made a massive difference in the art we know now. Now back then, tobacco held very, very great spiritual, medicinal, and social importance among Native American tribes. They believed it served as a bridge between the physical and the spiritual realms, leading to its integral role in their customs and traditions. So where did tobacco come from, and how did it make its way across the Native American communities? Well, the journey of tobacco began thousands of years ago in the uh, Middle Americas, where Native Americans cultivated various strains with distinct characteristics and purposes. Now, as the tribes interacted and traded with each other, tobacco quickly spread across the continents, just like mad. Uh, now, Native American tribes included tobacco in their spiritual practices. They used it as a powerful offering or a means of communicating with the divine slash spirit world and as a symbol of community amongst the tribe and other tribes. Uh, the Native Americans also created smoking pipes, which played a huge role in enhancing a spiritual connection and forging bonds not only among tribe members and other tribes, but also individuals. I mean, who hasn't heard of people having some difficulty and then said, let's sit down and smoke a peace pipe, you know, get our, our differences settled out. Pablo Picasso was the most dominant and influential artist of the first half of the 20th century. Associated most of all with pioneering Cubism, alongside Georges Braque, he also invented collage and made major contributions to symbolism and surrealism. He saw himself above all as a painter, yet his sculpture was greatly influential, and he also explored areas as diverse as printmaking and ceramics. Mm -hmm.